Hello and welcome to WhatMap for City Skylines, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. There are thousands of items on the workshop now, so finding the right one for your next city build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review some using our 5-star rating and the coveted seal of approval. So join me fellow Skylines Explorers as we venture out to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. Bon Bon here, how you doing? Right, it's Monday and we're back around to the new week, but if you've missed Friday's show, which is the 300th show, please go back and watch that one straight after today's show because you missed a real treat. Something else I'd like you to do today is, at the end of the show I'll include a link to this, I need you to help out in a vote regarding the edge fog. Should I leave it on or should I switch it off? It's uh, been discussed a few times in the comments. I think now I need your overriding vote. So uh, I'll include a link at the end. It'll be a simple yes, switch it off permanently, or no, carry on as you are now, Bon Bon, and I'll listen to the majority. It's a free vote, so don't worry, I'm not going to be asking you for any money. Send me money, please. <laughs> no kidding. Anyway, today's map. Today's map. We should do this, I think. Uh, Silverwind Valley Mass Transit by Aquila Soul. Now, Aquila Soul is a delightful lady, absolutely delightful lady, who we interviewed on Skylines Talk back in episode two. There she starts square, by the way. And uh, she is, uh, well, she's taken a bit of a, a change from her usual, as your resources, a change from her usual style here. You won't recognize this as Aquila Soul's work at all. Taken the step one side, gone for the realism, and boy, has she done a cracking job. What do you need for this map? Well, you need mass transit, the not so rocky theme, the generic tree pack, which believe me are way better than the vanilla ones in every way, shape and form. And uh, there's a little bit of reading up to do, but nothing essential. Uh, I, we are using the Relight Average LUTs for today's show. Okay, down to ground level, and it's a much more realistic map from her usual, uh, well, it's her, her usual craggy shorelines is what we're normally used to seeing. This, this is just beautiful. This is glorious stuff. And when you consider one asset for this, the generic tree pack, you cannot go far wrong, my friends. You cannot go far wrong. A uh, great choice of theme and the LUTs bringing out the colours as well. Now you will notice that we are just going down the national road here. There is a non-mass transit version as well, so if uh, you don't have mass transit, you can just use uh, the alternative vanilla roads. But uh, we're reviewing the mass transit version today because I have it, and why not, and a lot of you do as well. So anyway, here's your start square uh, intersection, beautifully done, tapered into the ground. A little bit wiggly that road, but roads often are a little bit wiggly, I'm not going to mark anything down for that. There is, is that start square location with the rail joining up as well. The rail runs alongside the road all the way, but not so close that you can't do anything with it. And that's all very nice. And this tapers into the ground. Minor grumble here. Minor, minor, minor grumble. It's a good height. I have no problem with that. And it's a nice slowly tapered slope down this way. But when you come up the other way, I think it's possibly a little bit steep here on this up slope. Um, just give you an idea of this in a minute. I'm going to switch on the terrain lines, the topographic lines. Let me switch them on now. Now, if we count these lines on the way up, each one of these is a meter. So you've got one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, possibly six or seven meter climb in a very short distance there, which is quite steep for a train on a realistic map. Now, okay, I'm being a little bit oh, picky. Being a little bit picky, because honestly, there's not much to pick on this map. You know that you've got a good map on your hands when I'm counting terrain lines. <laughs> so, yes, yes. Um, if you think I'm being a bit harsh, it's just because the better a map gets, the harsher I've got to be to find something to say. Uh, so there we are. Everything else about this map is very fine. Um, very simply done. And honestly, simple is often the best way. Right, I'll tell you what isn't simple, and that is today's asset. Helsinki Central Library Udi by Ali Cafe How Yeah. What a great name. 
<laughs> now this is a beauty. We've got a lot of the glass textures and transparency textures going on. Got a guy who can fly up to the first floor there to take a seat. Superman frequents the Helsinki Central Library. Now I'm liking pretty much everything about this. This is the design is beautiful. The it's really modern feel. Look at you can see all those bookshelves in there. You can see people milling around, especially on the ground floor as well. Got these little uh, glassy holes in the top of the roof to that extra light in. I'm loving the texturing. I love the design. Lots of keen on the vanilla trees at the back, but you can't have absolutely everything in life. That is a very nice piece of work. Helsinki Central Library Udi by Ali Cafe How Yeah. What a great name. <laughs> and off to Themington Island for a new theme and LUT combo. Today and all of this week we'll be looking at Temperate Coast X, or possibly Temperate Coast 10, although I haven't found Temperate Coasts 1 to 9, so I think it's X. By False Lucidity with Natural LUT. Uh, yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. It worked for a lot of you, I think, this, this combo. And off to the factoids. Uh, how about, uh, here's one that I knew already, but it's in the book, so I'm going to read it. Uh, the pop group, Duran Duran, you may have heard of them. British 1980s, but I think they're still going strong now. On and off. They got their name from the villain in the film Barbarella. Now, if you've not seen Barbarella, uh, make sure you're <laughs> over the age of, shall we say, 18. It's not incredibly raunchy, but it's still quite raunchy. Uh, Walt Disney's middle name was Elias. Uh, no, I tell you the truth. No, it's Elias. <laughs> oh, dear, I me. Help me, please. It's only Monday and I'm already cracking up. Shipping routes. You got this one. That's fine. That's all you're getting. We're throwing one in for free. Water flow. Ah, water flow. We've got, there's a couple of rivers that feed down to the main central river thing, whatever. Um, of course, the rivers are flowing downhill, so they are fine. They're not very deep, not putting out an awful lot. So you may not want to draw your water from there. But this main bulk of water here, excellent. We've got lots of, we've got a couple of drains here. She does like using her drains. And it does draw a little bit away from the possible realism. We've got a lot of water flood pushing in from this way. But it won't be drawing away from the playability of the map. It works absolutely fine. It's just if you really want to go into the detailing on it. Let's have a closer look at these rivers in full glorious Technicolor. And they are very nice indeed. It'd be nice to have a little more detailing down the banks. But once again, we are only using the generic tree pack. And uh, there's... Without subscribing to more and more things, uh, loving the uh, not so rocky theme here and the relight combo. A little bit of a flaky rock there. Can you see that? A little bit of a flaky rock peeling off, kind of like um, a flaked almond <laughs> stuck onto the side. Minor thing, minor thing. You probably didn't even notice. You probably have to rewind and have a look at that. But it was just overhanging the water, sort of. Right, and then we've got this beautiful lake in the middle. And then we've got one feature on the whole map, one feature, and it's this, this island with this castle on it. And it's, uh, it's fine. I've got no problems with this. It's not the most thrilling piece of work, but it's not awful in any way, shape or form. We do have this, um, the jetty being used as a bridge. I don't see any problem with uh, you know, being a bit creative like that. I'm not sure that it actually works for me, but I don't see any issues with it at all. So once again, it's fine. That's okay. It's not the best castle. It's not the worst. It's okay. And the worst thing you can do is, if you don't like it, is just to delete the damn thing, you know? Uh, I'd leave it myself. I'd have it there. Right, then we've got this river as well coming down. We haven't looked at this river in any great detail. We've got a lovely waterfall here. Beautiful colours coming off of that. And then up in towards the mountains. And we, the river splits off in two directions. Um, we forks off that way. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, if we head up this way, this looks all well and good. Up into the mountains and uh, cutting into the bit of a canyon here. Very nice here. And then around the corner, up a little bit of a, a waterfall. This is my prettiest part of the map, I think. And then up to, where are we? We've got a source up here, which is a lake. Somewhere up here is a lake, which is the source, which hides the source quite nicely. Uh, up there, there it is. 
That's fine. Happy with that. Then if we follow the river back down to this fork, this little bit of river looks like it's going uphill. It's not. We'll go and have another look at that in a second, but it's just one of those weird things. You know, the, the roads that look like they're going uphill, but they're actually going downhill. That looks like a river rolling uphill. It's not. It is downhill. Let's go and have another look at that, I think. Where are we? Uh, here it is. Uh, let me push it across this way. Does that look like it's going uphill to you? Yeah, optical illusion. It's it, That's all that is. It's an optical illusion. It's very clearly going downhill. Right, have we missed anything? Ah, oh, the hills. We haven't looked at the hills. And they are alive with the rubble of not so rocky. Quite nice. I like this theme. And I think this is the best use of this theme that I've seen. Um, with the, uh, the craggy ruin slopes there. Uh, the cliff slopes. They're really very nicely worked in. I think she's just about got that to perfection. There was concerns when I saw it was a not so rocky theme, but she's done a really good job. And then down here, um, should we go and have a look at these hills up here as well? No, we'll have a look at there. The start square, where's the start square? Um, hang on, um, hills here, We've got a valley over here. This is a good build plane up in here as well. Lots of forests in the valleys, really good. Well, for, ah, this is a nice little valley down here, deep and dark, and there's a little bit of a hollow down here as well, which I love. Not sure how anybody's going to use this, but that is lovely work. Completely unbuildable, but I love it. It's great work. Likes it adds a bit of realism to the environment. Yes, um, start square and all that. Flat, flat enough. Plenty of build space to get into. Only thing I would suggest is there's quite a lot of build space, but of course we've only got that one national route running across the uh, the map. So anyway, aesthetically, yeah, I think um, Aquila Soul has achieved what she's uh, aiming for here. Is it a five star map? I think it's a long way short of that. But four stars, well, definitely, definitely deserves that, I think. Detailing. I'm only going to knock it down one star for those people that are looking for the realism in the water flow. You're going to have to look into that when placing down your pumping and uh, your sewage points. But other than that, yeah, uh, it's pretty damn good across the whole. Four stars for detail. Gameplay potential. Here is the thing. I could give this easily give this five stars. I could easily give this just three stars because of the national road is going to restrict those that want to build a bigger city and there is enough room to build a big city i think it achieves what it's attending to do so i'm going to give it four stars for gameplay because it definitely achieves what her target was silverwind valley mass transit by aquila soul i am however going to withhold the seal of approval for those of you and there's a lot of you that want to do a big city I don't think this map is going to accommodate you because of the network that's available. But definitely, definitely worth playing for those who want to do something creative in smaller towns and that kind of thing. Very nice map indeed. Well, thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Join me tomorrow for another map in the What's Map series. Don't forget to go hit that link that is on the screen now for the Patreon vote for Fog or No Fog. I look forward to seeing your vote and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day and thanks for watching.